Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shadow Plays. Welcome back to the land of Haichi, or Manchu, whatever you want to call us. Here in EU4 Art of War. This is, of course, Iron Man, and uh, yeah, we're colonizing three provinces at once with our two colonists because they're that badass. They can do it. And I'm looking around at what we can really do here. There aren't a whole lot of options. We do have a new vassal, a Shiba, and he has some cores to reclaim. One, two, three, four cores to reclaim. And we can feed him quite a lot of the island of Japan, or the island of Honshu, I mean. Since his primary culture is Japanese and his religion is Shinto, he'll have no problem absorbing all that crap. At the same time, Date still wants to peacefully vassalize, but I don't think we're ever going to get relations up there. We're at plus two, even though we've maximized our improved relations bonus. Uh, Korea wants our alliance back, but he's going to have to actually give some effort, or else it's not going to happen. And right now, it's just looking like it's not going to happen. It doesn't really look possible. Ah, we're going to have to go to war with the Oirat. I hate that, but we're going to have to go to war with the Oirat. How's the Oirat's army looking? I need to know numbers. 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 Oirat, he's got 26,000, and he's got tons of manpower. Shit. What about Korea? What you got, Korea? He's got 13 with lots of manpower. And Korea is tech 7. Korea has cannons. Crud. Maybe I use Korea to fight Japan. Date and Ming. That might be good. If I declare on Japan and call in Ming as a co-belligerent, I think Korea would join my side against Japan, because Korea hates Japan, right? Yeah, Korea thinks Japan is the devil. So that might be a plan. Declare on Japan, let him bring in Ming, and then hopefully Korea joins my side, right? We've got our cores here. I love that there's a button to abandon your core. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I just want to abandon my core now, please. But we have a truce with Ming for another nine years, which is fucking stupid. He has no truce with Dali. The truce with Dali is over, but the truce with me is for another nine years. It must be because I warned him. I can't think of any other reason. Ah, <sighs> Okay, so do I have a CB on Japan? I do, because I fabricated two claims down here. Okay. Yeah. And he's allied to Date, which is fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll just feed Shiba. Alright, so let's unpause. Wait, where's my troops? Where's my troops? I got all of you guys. You're all going to Beijing. That's, um... Well, if we're going to be declaring on Japan, we shouldn't go to Beijing, huh? I should have kept my troops over here in Dua. Diwa? Dua diddy diddy dum diddy do. Something like that. Let's get our troops back to Japan. Stop mothballing. And uh, I think that's going to be the plan. But I guess before we declare, we should check and see if Cory is actually interested in a war with Japan. He probably is, but uh, there's no guarantee, right? Let's see, what do you say, Korea? Uh, oh, that's right, I'm not allied to Korea anymore. But I want to be. Uh, cancel access. That's all I can do is the access. We can do enemy of enemy. Can I set Japan as a rival? I cannot set Japan as a... Why can't I set Japan as a rival? It allows me to set Korea, but not Japan. Damn. What if the core is radioactive? Yeah, well then I would abandon it. But it, these aren't. Trust me. They have the, the Shen seal of approval. They are not radioactive. 100% guaranteed. This comment is not 100% guaranteed to be accurate. But yeah, we need relations with Korea. Uh, what can I do to improve... Oh, oh, trade power? No, he's already transferring it to China. Shit, come on, man. Get an alliance. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. This will totally work. I promise. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, come on. Korea, you sick son of a bitch. Just improve relations just a tiny bit, just for like a couple months, come on! Actually, I think at the end of the year it'll be fine. No, it won't. At the end of the year it's gonna get worse. No! Korea, 
Help! Goria! Goria, come on! All right, we've got our four shock general ready to kill Date's army. Good. Japan's army is... Maybe I should put my army down there. Oh my god, Japan's got a kick-ass general. Wow. Very kick-ass general. Maybe I should go down there. Um, yeah. All right. Cut off the head of the beast, right? He has... 19 troops. So this is most of his army. If we crush that in one battle, that'd be great. Korea, please. I beg of you, Korea. Korea, please. Yarkand is pretty much dead. Yep, Oirat's going to full annex that. Not much left. Oh, what can I do with Korya? I guess I could get a marriage. It'll last until my king dies. Okay. That works. All right, Coria, let's do it. Oh, he's offering me the alliance. Even better. If you were so interested, why weren't you improving relations, you little shit? All right, are you interested in alliance with, with a war on Japan? No. He's not interested in a, in a war against Japan because he feels threatened by me. Oh, that's right. I forgot about threatened attitude. Shit. Hmm. I don't know how I forgot that, but I did. Come on, Coria, stop being threatened. How about I guarantee your independence? Will that make you happy? Come on, dude. Still threatened. Well, my army's ready to rock. We got 26 troops ready to crush Japan's army. We got our four shock general. Uh, all I need is Korea to stop being threatened. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, please, please. Well, in the meantime, colonies are still growing. Russia is beating the shit out of Kazan. When can he annex Riazan? In... Right now, actually. Okay, we finished our mission to build a fort in the Curls. Let's find another new mission. These are terrible missions. Protect against Ming. We're not going to do that, because our limit is 30 troops. And the mission would require 41. Improve relations with Shun. Well, we might do that. He's our vassal. Unite the Manchu tribes. That's going to take some time. Damn it. No, I can't go to war with all of them at the same time because I don't have a navy that can compete with all of that. To win the war in Japan, I have to have my army there. And I would never be able to get my army back to the mainland if I had to go to war with Ming, Korea, and Japan all at the same time. It just doesn't work. Because their navies are much more... Look at that, he's got seven heavies. I don't have that. All I have is ten transports. So I really can't do that. We need Korea to join the war against Japan.
Wow, the Persians haven't actually succeeded yet. It looks like the rebel stacks have actually been killed. Wow, the Timrids are going to recover from this. Amazing. Who are my vassals? We have Shiba, Mongolia, and Shun. We have three vassals and two allies, Oirat and Koria. What's my other relation? Three vassals, two allies. Oh, three allies. That's right, Dali. I forgot Dali. Fuck you, Dali. You suck. I'm going to keep him as an ally, though, because he can declare war on Ming any day, and I would love to join that. But I have a truce for another eight years. Stop being threatened. Why are you threatened? Stop it. Hmm. Well, if we can get another troop, what would we want? Another sol regular soldier. All right, give me another regular soldier. if I can get in this war without actually declaring on Oirat. Maybe. Let's see if we can get in this war. I might have waited too long for this to work. But if we can get a quick alliance with this guy and have him call us into the war against the Oirat, that'd be good. Because then we wouldn't have to fight... Kor no, he would just call Korea in. Damn it. Damn it. Why no religion convert? Because they're all Buddhist, and we tolerate Buddhism very well. Are we planning to westernize? I think probably yes. Probably as soon as possible, which would require us exploring. Oh, that's right, I was going to go exploring this episode. I forgot about that. It's the first time I'm recording today, so forgive me if I forget little things like, I don't know, exploring, which I had planned on doing. Let's build a ship for explorinating. Let's build a bark. It'll finish in about a year. Alright, Korea, do you still threaten or what? Yep, still threaten. Damn it, Korea. Son of a bitch. You should colonize north. Well, I've already got three colonies going up there at the same time, so we're working on it. It takes some time. Especially since they're all Arctic provinces, so the colonies go very slow in the, in the Arctic. Nobody owns Taiwan. Yeah, it's available. And uh, Taiwan is now split into three regions, which is interesting. Sakam, Midag, and Kalang. Hmm. Muscovy's not colonizing yet. That's weird. I wonder why he's not starting a colony yet. Maybe because he's busy with the war. Yeah. Wow, his war score. I'm sure the Timurids are not helping at all. Fucking selfish Timurids, man. He doesn't care.
Okay, okay, okay. Korea has gone friendly. Now we're fucking talking. Come on back. Slow down time. Army reformer died. Get a new army reformer, please. Commandant works. Fund the army. Whoop. All right, Korea, are you ready? Are you ready, Korea? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you fucking ready? Also, let's go explore. Maneuver one. All right, well, he's not going to be that great. But um, he'll do some work. I'm going to go dock up. Whew, okay, cool. I guess we should wait until we're at full morale. Yeah. One out of 3.5. We'll wait till we're at 3.5. Because I want to crush that stack. Oh god. Muscovy just full of next Kazan. Holy shit. He's getting big quick. Finally, he's no longer threatened. Alright, now is he interested in this war? I imagine he would be. Yes! Okay. Oh, I can't make Ming a co-belligerent. The enemy... Ally Ming will not be considered co in this war. They will not be able to call their own... Why can't I make them a co-belligerent? It's because we still have a fucking truce. Ah, oh, come on. I don't even know why we have this truce. Ugh. Well, I guess I can't make him a co-belligerent. Go explore. Go, my little Yonki Po. Yonki Po. It's a good name for you. Bowers Ridge. All right. Can you guys find the international dateline on this map? I'll give you a hint. We're really close to it right now. All right, full morale, 3.37 out of 3.43, perfect. All right, Korea, let's do it. You and me, bro. So we're gonna declare for reconquest for our vassal's lands. I don't really, I don't wanna declare for my own stuff. So he's gonna bring in Dete and Ming, that's fine. Uh, I'm not gonna make Dete a co-belligerent because I don't really care, I don't want another vassal. No, we're just gonna take lands from Japan for now. All right, let's declare war for um, the highest base tax. Which one's the highest base tax? Etchu Hitachi, let's see. Hitachi is a two base tax, a four base tax, a four base tax, and a three base tax. But this one has the Chinaware. This one's the most expensive province because it has the Chinaware. So we'll declare for the Chinaware province, uh, Ekizen. All right, done. Let's do it, Korea. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. The fuck are you, Japan? The fuck are you? Put our check mark on. Put our vassals on. Um, sticky. Yeah, vassals are now sticky. Uh, do I want to kick this guy? No, we'll use him to help siege. Go kick some Japanese butthole. All right, Korea's in. Dolly's in. Oirat's in. Oh, he beat us. Kill him. Oh, he's got Maneuver 6. Fuck this guy in Maneuver 6. There we go. Oh, god damn it. Now we have to fight all of his armies at once we're going to lose. Fuck me. Fuck me, that guy with Maneuver 6, he walked around so much avoiding us that we couldn't actually engage him alone. We have to fight the entire enemy at once. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck you and your 6 Maneuver. <laughs> Shit. That sucks.
God damn it. He was so speedy. I had planned on squishing that one stack while he was alone, but I couldn't get him alone because he moved so quick that everyone else was able to catch up to him. Damn it. Oh, this event. I hate this event. Plus 25 odd, uh, whatever it's called in... Where is that? This one. No. Where? Where? Chahar. Oh, I can't even lower it. God damn it. We just got more, uh, whatever it's called. Alright, so we'll get healed up, we'll go back, and we'll try to pick them off one at a time. I can't fight... It's like 40,000 troops in total when they're at full health. I can't fight them when they're that strunk. We gotta wait a little bit. Hopefully the Oirats will come over soon, because Ming is beating up Dali again. Ah, oh, yeah, that did not start the way I expected it to start. He escaped us. I should have paid a lot more close attention to that. Colonize to calm. I should do that. I can't get there in time. Yes, I can. Cool. We're fighting the entirety of the Japanese army all at once. That's just not... I can't handle that, I don't think. It's just too much. He just has constant reinforcements. I think we're going to lose our army, folks. I can't move. So options are to try to survive for 10 days and run away again, or just delete the army. Try to survive 10 days. Well, we survived 10 days, but that's about it. And we got crushed. Okay, well, there goes the army. The mighty Manchu army is defeated by Japan, of all things. That sucks, my friends. That sucks. That was 30,000 troops. Well, 27,000, but still. All right, let's rebuild. The nice thing about losing your army like that is you don't really get much war exhaustion for it because you're, never, you're not replenishing troops. All right, I'll build 20 soldiers, and that's all the money we have. All right, we arrived in Sakan. That should finish the mission. Yep. Cancel that. Good. And go back. Well, that didn't start out the way I expected it to. And our transport ships are now trapped down here as well. So probably have to delete those and rebuild them too. Okay. Oof. 
But you know what? Why don't we uh, continue this next episode? Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Uh, this didn't start the way I expected it to. We might be in trouble here. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.